Hey folks and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're out on a special trip we're actually going out to a bike launch in Monaco so I'm just heading to the airport so this is one trip you don't want to miss folks so if you're not a subscriber to the channel hit that subscribe button now and appreciate it if you can give the video a like now once we get to the airport today we'll be flying out via EasyJet to Nice in the south of France and then we're going to take a special trip on something with rotor blades from Nice Airport to Monaco, check into a nice hotel, and then after breakfast in the morning we're going to head out on the bike up into the hills above Monaco and the mountains, and then back down into Monaco for the press briefing, take a look at the bike, and also a special interview, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're just waiting for the helicopter. The helicopter ride will be about seven to 10 minutes from Nice Airport to Monaco. Now, if you were coming to Nice and you wanted to get to Monaco and you were gonna get a cab, you would have to pay probably about 120 euros to actually get there and it would take about half an hour. With the helicopter, you pay between 50 and 70 euros more, so about 180 euros each way. And like I say, seven to 10 minutes. What they also do is they keep an eye on your incoming flights so that uh, if you're early or late, then they'll fit you on a helicopter to suit. So we've arrived in the port of Monaco and uh, just checked into my hotel, the port palace behind us just there. All of the boats in the marina, absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, what a pleasant experience it was on the, uh, the helicopter coming in. And also good price as well, not too bad. And only seven minutes from Nice to Monaco. So we're here for a bike launch. So uh, I'm just gonna head out now uh, into Monaco, have a wander around and also get some, uh, some dinner. Okay, so we're on the first ride of the Verge TS Pro that we're on today. So we're actually in a, a mode called Zen. There's a few different modes on this bike. One being Beast, which releases all of the power. Um, but I believe this bike has, uh, being the Pro, a thousand newton meters of torque at that rear wheel. Now, one thing that I absolutely love is how they've uh, innovated and not just taken a traditional motorcycle and tried to stuff batteries and motors and things where the engine goes 
and by doing the, the, uh, the rear wheel motor idea, all the front and where the engine is can be taken up with batteries, which really gives you a lot of range on this motorcycle. And that's always been their downfall, really, with electric bikes. Not enough range. Now, we'll run through the, the specs of this bike a little later on and all of the three different models so you can get the range of each bike and also the power and things. But yeah, we've got equipment. The switch gear uh, looks very Italian, actually. You've got a cruise control. You've got mode button for the different modes. Usual horn, indicator, those type of things. Just getting used to this uh, rear brake on the left hand where the clutch is normally at. Now it's a very short ride of this bike today. Very privileged to be out in Monaco testing this and having the invite from Verge. Wow, instant talk. Really smooth, as you can imagine. Brakes from Brembo. The, uh, the rear, another caliper on the back. Wow, that torque is instant. What's good is you can literally just pootle along on this thing, or you can uh, give it the big licks. Very nice. Now the rear tyre is the same profile and width as a Ducati Diablo or a Triumph Rocket 3. But what I like about this is they have foot pegs as standard and then you've got the forward foot pegs that you can use like a cruiser. So if you're doing long distances, you've got lots of comfort. And also if you do take a rear passenger, they would use your normal foot pegs and you would use the forward ones. Really impressed how she turns in. Now the suspension, you get two options. Uh, you get the, uh, the Wilbur, I think it is, from standard. That's set up from the factory on this bike. And also you can get the Olins. You've got a nice little digital speedo just in front of you with uh, some basic information. And then you've got your big TFT screen on top of your tank here just showing you your range that you've got left any different modes so I wonder if we can change modes on the fly try and think which one it... oh I've just turned it off okay so which was the mode button Custom, range, zen, which is what I was in, and beast. Okay. So we'll see what the beast is like on the way back. Whoa. That's quick. Now, currently they are setting up an office in the UK to sell these. Uh, it's currently available in uh, most places in uh, Europe. Being overtaken by a, a scooter, that's not good. <laughs> not many passing places on this road. Definitely like the beast mode. How does she handle roundabouts? Actually better than the Diavel. Than the rocket, actually. Wow. Insane acceleration. So you've not only got Brembo brakes, you've got a Brembo master cylinder, front and rear. Obviously not a long enough ride to, uh, to get a feel which is mostly the case with uh, a lot of these bike uh, overseas launches, but I would love to get on one of these for a longer time when they get to UK and just spend a bit of time on that range. 
Normally I ride a Yamaha MT-10 SP, as you know, on the channel. And the range on that thing is about 130 mile before I fill up. Noise-wise, just a faint whirring in the background. Uh, I would say less than other electric bikes because the, uh, the motor is in the back wheel, so it's behind you. One thing that Verge was saying is that because it's in the back wheel, it's self-cooling. They've not had to add any cooling or anything. So literally where the engine is, you can just stack it full of batteries and you've got your range. Like I say, I'll go through the specs a little later on in the video on this and also we'll be getting to talk to the CEO a little bit more in depth about this motorcycle. Beautiful views. Very nice. Yeah, good. Yeah. Instant power. Really smooth, actually, on the throttle, which was nice. Yeah, I need to ride it longer. <laughs> so here we are in front of the new Verge store in Monaco. And just behind me, you've got the Mika Hakkinen model just in the window. What we're going to do now is go in the, uh, the showroom and interview the CEO, ask him a few questions, and then take a look at the unveiling of the bike. So, Tuomo, thank you very much for inviting us to the Verge uh, event. This is uh, your baby, your motorcycle, and an electric yeah. motorcycle at that. Can you tell me a little bit of where Verge came from, and the concept, and, and obviously to production of this motorcycle? Yeah, this uh, started 2018. There was a uh, group of people who found out that, hey, we got to make a revolution mm -hmm. to motorcycle industry. There's, uh, there's this uh, change into electricity also coming to motorcycles. That's, so that was like obvious, like, okay, that is going to happen. So let's, let's face that, that where that the power got to be at least uh, in the rear tire because that got to rotate. So let's, let's find out, let's push to the boundaries or at the, at the verge of, yeah. <laughs> at the verge of technology that, hey, if that is possible to do that with one moving part, then the varying parts, let's say daily consumable parts, are less. Yeah. There's less to less to service all the time, and that is simpler to maintain. And that was like the original illusion that hey, maybe that is possible. Let's find out. Yeah. And then we found out late 2018 we had a prototype running on the road. That was like a very raw version of it. But that was the first version. Like, okay, f let's find out. This is needing millions and years, I mean millions of euros and years, years to uh, use like, like uh, to make the technology ready and all that. Yeah. So we, we started that, okay, let's find out. And we, we found out some good engineers and designers and all that. So, okay, let, let's, let's push forward. And, and especially that Finnish people, we are, we are mostly Finnish. Finnish people are good at engineering, but not so good at uh, usually in marketing, but we found out great marketing guys who are like really okay. making this happen at the same time and that is something special for engineers yeah. but that is also something for all the people to see that hey this is really a brand and a product and we are really is making a statement that hey this is this is what motorcycles can be yeah, in sure. two, already two days one of the things from riding the motorcycle this morning which was a tremendous opportunity with the motor being in the actual back wheel of the motorcycle so you're taking that away from being in the engine compartment yeah. you don't need cooling with that obviously also the chain yeah. the gearbox so you've taken all that out put it in the back wheel virtually and does that give you more space in the front then to have more battery power than yeah. say others on the market and one thing that uh, really intrigues me is the the range that you have on these motorcycles so it's always yeah. been a, a sticking point with electric bikes and range, but you, you seem to have a very good range on these. Yeah, that, that is fact. So, so surely we can choose to have a small battery, but when we are having the technology there in the rear rim and the and mo motor is there, so then, then there's a lot, no powertrain, so no chains or cardinals after or anything. So all the 
center part of the bike is to batteries. And then the center of gravity is very low because the batteries are on the bottom and electronics on the top. We have chosen it that way. So that is, that is uh, easy to handle. And then we can choose that, okay, let's, let's have a big battery. Yeah. And also, let's say, technical detail is that if there's small battery, that is, if, if you are fast charging small battery, that is heating more. But if you are having big battery, you are just charging half of the full scale yeah. or, or full speed when you are usually charging. So that is actually, when the battery is big, that is easier to maintain yeah. the heat. When, and it, when and fast is it more charging. efficient with having that motor in the rear wheels? Mm. Well, we are always having pros and cons. Yeah. But here we are having like very complex development yeah. that took years and years. And then that is not easy to manufacture, but we are having good method for that now. And uh, then there's like no cooling liquids, no oils, so that is very simple. So there is a lot of positive sides. And then somebody is saying that, yeah, okay, if you are, if you are racing like hardest MotoGP racing, that hey, what about the uh, weight of it, each component? Yeah, but that is that is not even close the deal when you are daily using a motorcycle. So yeah. that that is like okay, good enough. And, and quite good. It is, say. yeah. I mean, I yeah. didn't feel that the bike was 240 kilo when I was riding it today. Yeah. Uh, it felt really yeah. light and really flickable around the corners, so uh, you've done a great job there. On the, the models, you've got the TS, the TS Pro and the TS Ultra. When are these coming to the UK is what my audience wants to yeah. know. Yeah, okay. So we are having this homologated in European Union. Okay. And we are already having our uh, company in UK established okay, so perfect. that is that is happening yeah. i'm not saying months because this is this demand is just crazy sure yeah we, we, people are taking us to every country like hey come here first and and yeah. we are we are having our our companies now in few countries we are delivering straightly to customers yeah. so we are selling as a company to end user yeah. and we are liking to take care of end user that hey if there's any problem there will be someday some something we are wanting to take care of that. Yeah. We are wanting to hear all the good and bad news yeah. and then really take care of customers. So, yes, we are coming. Okay. I'm not saying a month yet. I hope that that is this year when the people who has already ordered yeah. are having the first bikes. Okay. And we are, we are starting that way that we are firstly sure that we can take care of after sales yeah. before we are delivering because that is... Will, that, uh, will you yeah. be bringing the bike to any of the UK shows this year? Yeah, we are coming to some show. Um, I got to double check from marketing, okay. but we, we are participating in some show. Okay, perfect. With, with uh, two bikes, I can guess. Uh, one, one to ride yeah. at the side of the show and one, one to see in, in the show. Thanks again for your time today. Great to ride it. I can't wait to get on the bike and ride it more yeah. after I've had a first taster this morning. So uh, I look forward to them coming to the UK. Yeah. Excited to see what Verge are coming next with. But uh, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Cheers, nice talking to you. Yep. Thanks. As a two-time Formula One world champion, I know what it takes to create a machine that embodies speed, precision and elegance. With my signature edition, I wanted to push beyond the custom colorway and focus on the small details that matter the most. The bike features carbon fiber details that reflect the soul of motorsport and customized all black suspension that manifest raw power and elegance. The Brembo brakes will bring you to a stop in an instant and the high-end two-letter seat provides unparalleled comfort and style. Each of the hundred bikes is numbered and features a signature plate that reflects its uniqueness. It's an honor to have my signature on the plate. As this bike is not just an electric motorcycle, it's a testament to the beauty of speed and a life lived to the fullest. On the words. But uh, it, it is incredible, first of all, the words, the team of this project, it is incredible what I have experienced. Uh, these guys and ladies, they are, they are purely uh, uh, 
excited to find the best possible performance, innovation, what you can see in the rear tire example. And my experience in Formula One was all the time innovation. Innovation, performance, to be better than others, and through that element, be able to win. And, and uh, I recognize the similar type of uh, feeling in, in a Verge team. And, and this is the product. And I can feel this is only the, this is beginning, this is the start. It's great the team is able to be in Monaco, first of all, the number one place in the world. Uh, and uh, it's just beautiful. I'm, I'm proud to be part of the team. And, and uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos and we're just going to have a mooch around Monaco now before we head back tomorrow morning via helicopter back to Nice Airport for a short flight home. So as ever, if you like the videos, give us a big like and if you're not a subscriber to the channel, then uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll be back with another video next week. Take care, folks. Ciao for now.